Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, you're probably wondering what you're looking at right now. Uh, this is a map of the new Five Man Ice Garden Citadel instance, the Forge of Souls. Uh, this is the first of the three um, new Five Man Ice Garden Citadel instances, and this instance is actually the easiest of them all. Uh, the reason it's the easiest is because this is the starter instance for the new Five Man Ice Garden Citadel instances. Uh, when you enter it, um, there will be a quest giver at the beginning of this instance for the Alliance. Uh, Lady Jane of Proudmore will be standing there and she will give you a quest which will start you uh, on a chain quest to get you attuned for the Ice Crown Citadel. Um, and for the Horde, uh, Lady Sylvanas Windrunner, is, is the lady in there is, or is it just Sylvanas Windrunner? I don't know. Not familiar with the whole Horde, you know, NPCs. But um, yeah, anyway, there will be either Sylvanas Windrunner or Lady Jane of Proudmore standing at the beginning of this instance and both of them give a quest, the exact same quest might I add, uh, to attune you for the Pit of Sauron. Uh, the Pit of Sauron is the second um, instance in the chain quest, which will tune you for the Ice Crown Citadel. It goes uh, the Forge of Souls, the Pit of Sauron, then the Halls of Reflection. And once you complete the Halls of Reflection, you're, you're completely attuned, and you're ready for the Ice Crown Citadel, if you're geared enough, at least. But Yeah, aside from that, this instance is actually really easy. Uh, the, this instance is only meant to attune you for the instances, uh, for the next instances. That's why it's so easy. Uh, the only hard part, I'd say, are the boss fights and, uh, and some of the ads. Uh, the only reason the ads are hard is because um, the, most of them are, are packed up, like as, like as you see right now. Like, they're packed up, and then they're just a bunch of ads stuck together, and they're, and they're pretty annoying to take down. Uh, we actually didn't wipe once in this instance. Uh, it was so easy, and our tank was nowhere near geared enough for this to tank this instance. If you look, he's in his... Uh, he's in like she's like dressed in like item level 200s and two two thirteens and just some of the two thirty twos he got from the starter instances like from the ice Crown Citadel instances. So aside from that, um, he wasn't nearly geared enough for this instance yet. We did we did fine on it. We never wiped once. That's just how easy this instance is. You do not need to be geared for this. Although you know you should be geared for this just so you don't cause your teammates trouble because uh, you know sometimes your teammates are gonna have to save you and you know. It, you might as well just not cause your teammates trouble and be geared from other instances before you try entering these instances. Uh, yeah, so we're coming up to the to the first boss soon. Uh, he's right up there and inside that room, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's up there. I don't know. There's a bunch of those rooms that look all the same to me. Um, yeah, so we come up to this room. Is that it? Yeah, they're the bosses. This is the first boss encounter of two, which is the Broneham boss fight. Uh, sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. I'm not really good with, you know, those types of names. I don't know. If you, if I, if you, uh, think I pronounced that name wrong, or if you know the right way to pronounce it, please feel free to, you know, say in the comment section below, and I will be sure to read that. And, uh, yeah, increase my World of Warcraft vocabulary. Yeah, so... We are killing the boss right now, and this boss is actually very simple. Uh, he only does two main spells, really. Um, he knows a soul siphon sort of thing, uh, or corrupt, corrupted soul. Corrupt soul. There we go. Uh, thank you, deadly boss mods. Um, but yeah, it's called corrupt soul, which uh, basically just drains your soul, I guess, apparently. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell what it does from here, since I don't really know, since we never really pay attention to shit like that. But anyway... Uh, he knows Corrupt Soul, and he knows uh, Soul Storm, if I'm not mistaken, that should be the name. Uh, Soul Storm, which is a huge purple tornado, uh, which you're about to see, he's about to cast it. Uh, so he does Teleport, which teleports him to the middle of the instance, and then he uses Soul Storm. Um, as you see, it makes a huge purple thing, like a huge purple tornado sort of uh, thing that causes damage to anyone who stands in the tornado. As you see, he likes to fear you while uh, you're in this tornado, which is pretty bad. As you see, I almost died, but thanks to Disengage, it launched me back and got me out of there. Um, yeah, so we downed him without any real trouble. We looted, and fucking, like, I was so lucky, and I actually a hunter piece dropped. This is the only reason I was running this instance, because of this hunter piece that dropped here. Um, I, I wanted to run this instance to get that helm, and, uh, this is my, like, third time or second time running it. Uh, and it actually dropped. I was so happy, since no one needed it, especially the, uh, wait, is there a shaman or is that a priest? Yeah, it's a priest. Well, yeah, well, I ran this instance with a shaman before, and, uh, it dropped once, and the shaman won it, so. Uh, yeah, so, I was really, I was really happy that that, that thing dropped, because it was a pretty big upgrade for my crappy Conqueror's helm, because I don't like using Emblem of Conquest gear, since it's kind of outdated. But, um... Yeah, as you see right now, we're fighting off these Banshees, and these Banshees do a lot of damage. Uh, uh, I think they're Banshees, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, anyway, these Banshees do a lot of damage, just like the Black Knight, uh, the Black Knight's third form in the Trial of Champion. Uh, he likes to do a huge AoE, which hits everyone in the, in the group. Um, it's not as bad as the Black Knight, because the Black Knight puts a debuff on you, they increase the amount of damage you take, which will basically destroy your group if you don't have a lot of DPS. 
Oh, uh, so yeah, we're coming up on the third boss, or the second and final boss fight, which is the, uh, the Devourer of Souls, um, boss fight. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a lot harder than the other boss fight, because there's a lot more to, a lot more to do. If you look right now, he charged our warrior, um, and basically one-shot at him. Look at, if you look to the left, he basically just one-shot at him, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. It's hard to avoid if you stand in that purple, you're basically done. When he charges you, he leaves a huge, um, like, a huge, uh, circle of, like, purple on the floor. As you see, I just disengaged back to get me out of there as quick as possible, because I didn't want it to get destroyed by that purple. Um, but yeah, it's actually really simple. And, um, yeah, he, he keeps charging me, I guess, could be, maybe because I'm the top DPS, I'm doing the most damage to him, I don't know. But, um, no, I'm just bragging, I'm top DPS, yeah, so... Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're, we're doing pretty good. Only one person died. I mean, uh, I prefer to have no one die, but, you know, sometimes if you don't, you're not, you're not paying attention, you stand in the purple, you're gonna die. So we downed him, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, actually, before, before, uh, we could rest the guy, some I mean, it doesn't really matter, but a frozen orb dropped, a, I think a caster main hand or something dropped, and then a really good, um, trinket dropped, which gives crit, and a chance on critical strike to um, increase your armor pen by like 612. It's like the uh, uh, that one from Naxxramas. I don't know what the hell it's called. I forgot. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that thing dropped, and I, I would have been happy to win it. But uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I already won one piece of gear from this instance, and that makes me happy. I don't care if I don't win two things. So yeah, now I'm just going to show you what the helm looks like that I, that I won. It looks pretty cool, in my opinion, and uh, yeah. So that's it for this for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to be notified when my new videos are released. And I'll see you guys next video, so yeah. Oh, and please be sure to rate this video whatever you think it deserves, and yeah, I'll see you guys next video. So yeah, later guys.